So in this section of this video, we're going to show you uh, how to rec uh, back up your clockwork, uh, no sorry, your ROM. Uh, so go to backup and restore. And to get into clockwork mod recovery, you just uh, power off your phone, hold down the volume button and the power button, and you should get here. So go to backup and restore, and hit the power button, right? Oh, did I mess up? No. Sorry, it's a different button. It's actually this button for this phone. I have a bunch of phones. Actually, go to that and then hit the center button and hit backup. And now it's backing up pretty much everything that's uh, on my ROM, which is the stock ROM rooted. So if I mess up uh, with my, you know, for some reason I run out of battery or something, I can always go back to Clockwork uh, Mod Recovery and restore everything and all you have to go is re restore and then you know pick out the uh, the date it, it should have it by date so now it's uh, uh, backing up and you know once you know how to back up uh, install this recovery clockwork recovery and you've rooted your phone pretty much you can install like hundreds of ROMs the only thing that's limiting you is the SD card you're using so I highly recommend to use like a 16 gigabyte micro SD and that way you can use like a couple gigabytes for different ROMs and uh, you know and you can you know what you can even do you can even download ROMs right straight into your phone although that's gonna take a while but you just download it and then when it's downloaded you just use clockwork recovery to uh, install new zip files and you can also do it from the actual clockwork uh, mod app on your phone um, but I prefer to actually go into the recovery menu because this thing actually lives in your uh, ROM or you know it's it's not part of your SD card or anything so it's always going to be there um, so I've backed up my whole data uh, now it's backing up my you know programs apps anyway I'll be back when this backup is done and uh, that's how you back up your G2 phone uh, ROM and you know pretty much every Android phone so it's almost uh, done now let me just get into the beauty of Android because you know Apple you can jailbreak it but most of this, their stuff is kind of like it's all like automated it's easy but you know it's not cool like this it's, this is like a real Linux computer you know and you know you people are hacking it the development community has grown so much that's why you know I know for sure Windows 7 is never gonna be the same like the G2 phone um, or not the G2 phone but Android they can't catch up because Windows 7 you know they have their proprietary uh, you know platform and you know people are not gonna jailbreak it they're not gonna even buy those phones it's so old because you know they're way behind in the race um, that's what I think. By next year, I don't know. They're gonna maybe get a small share of the market, but Android is where it's at. I think uh, you know Android all the way because it's free, it's open source, pretty much open source, and you can hack it. And it's great for schools. You know, you can't really study Apple iPhones, but you can study Android. You can even put a you know a whole Linux system on top of it. I've done it with my uh, Nexus One. Actually, I'm gonna do it with this one. That'll be my next video. And then, you know, you've seen the Atrix. Oh, well, we'll get onto that later, anyway. So, it's done backing up. Anytime I wanna uh, restore, I go here, right? Hit, oops, not the power button. The middle button, and restore. And there you go, that's my file. That's my file in my SD card, and if I press it, it's gonna back up, but I don't wanna do that. So hit hit back. How do I go back? I think <clears throat> that, oh, you can just use a back button. How cool is that, right? Anyway, let's, uh, now we backed up everything. Next video, we're going to uh, install a ROM. We're going to install Gingerbread. So watch out for that. That's my very next video. I'll have it like in five minutes after this. So see you later. I just showed you how to back up and restore your current ROM. So you should always do this, you know, if it's first time. Uh, you know putting another ROM because you don't want to lose everything and you know the the beauty of it is maybe you can even have it 
two different ROMs for uh, you know you and your wife, and then you can just you know back up, restore. I do this all the time. It's fun. So anyway, I hope you get the hang of it. Um, leave comments below if you want me to do certain stuff. So see y'all later.